Winching and Burning, William Hovey Smith, 2023. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. Our task today is to actually burn a bunch of viney stuff and small limbs where I have been cleaning out the hedgerow that runs adjacent to my yard. Uh, if I don't do this periodically, the wisteria vines and stuff, when I mow, will actually ugh, grab me by the neck and potentially strangle me or pull me off the lawn tractor. So consequently, I have to get rid of that stuff from time to time. This is obviously paper material, uh, cardboard and paper. I'm going to use that to help start my fire. Unusually, for this size trailer, I'm actually pulling it with my golf cart. Uh, so I don't have to move the larger truck around and I can maneuver this uh, much more easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick up fallen limbs in my yard. Uh, these are mostly pine and some pecan and put those on the pile. The next thing I'll do is go over to my sister's next door and get up bits of a huge fallen pine uh, that I have already started to cut up and gather easily combustible bits of pine bark and limbs and the smaller pieces of the tree itself, haul these onto the trailer with my witch and then see if we can get the fire started. As it turns out, I did not have to go that far to pick up fallen pine. Overnight, a very large pine fell in my woods and across the trail that I just cleared the day before yesterday. Woo! I've got the cart and trailer up to the burn pile, and I'm going to go ahead and put the paper products on and then lay that uh, somewhat drier pine on top. And then go over to my sister's and pick up some bark material and put that on top and then see if I can get this whole pile ignited. I've got my load of paper products on and now this is going on top of that. And I'll get some more paper and actually start the fire from the bottom. And as it catches that, it will hopefully ignite uh, this other material that I'm just about to put on now. And then that will make a good bed of coals to go down through the rest and catch the rest of that pile. We've got the pile laid up now. And we're going to fire it from that little hole down at the bottom underneath that green box. And that's where we're going to start the fire uh, with smaller paper products and then have it burn up and through. And once it starts catching that paper and that pine up on top, yeah, we've got it. This is the pine tree that I'm speaking of. And yeah, yeah, it was a big one. And what I'm particularly wanting from here is some of that bark. Uh, that really ignites well and helps a burn. And so I'm going to get some of that and see if I can pull up at least one piece of the top of this tree here and get that out of the way so I can clear the trail and have a better access. The piece I've got rigged to pull is off to one side, but as it gets closer, I'll center it up.
And now we have it safely aboard. I could obviously do more, but I really want to get back and get that fire started. Uh, now this is a Badlands 2000 winch from Harbor Freight, for those who haven't seen the previous videos. And when you're pulling at an angle, there's something to watch that the cable here does not run on this side of the spool. So that's the reason I'm back here with gloves, sort of guiding the cable back and forth. It's much easier to pull if you're pulling straight like I am right now than if you're trying to pull off at an angle like I started with. But with those cautions, yeah, the little unit does very well. Uh, the trailer will pull behind my golf cart uh, fairly easily so long as I don't really load it to the gills. And yeah, uh, we can get some real work done with this outfit. We do have our fire starting. Uh, there is very little wind. The grass all around still has drops of dew and water on it, so I'm not too concerned about the drifting fragments. So yeah, it looks like we might be able to do good here today. The stuff that I cut green out of the woods, well, that's been drying for, well, something like 10 days now, I think, for the most part. So, it is some green, but it's certainly not as green as it once were. The interior of the pile is porous enough that the fire is licking through it pretty good. I, I think we'll have a fairly clean burn by the time we're done. We've had our first burn now, so we can pull up the edges and ultimately start adding fresh material to the pile. As I have some already cut in the yard, there just wasn't room enough to pile on before. Angle mess is no easier to fool with now than it was before. We pulled up some other stuff from out of the yard and consolidated the pile a bit and put some stuff on top to put those springy pieces of vines and green branches etc etc down closer to the flame and so now we just have to wait until it catches and consumes what it will and then we'll push it up further. Now we're getting this unruly pile of stuff finally burnt. This is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time.